I've got to change the uh, temperature sensor on my 1991 Honda ST1100 Pan European and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride um, and show you how it's done. It's really quite quick and easy as long as you've got the right tools. You're going to want to take a poly drive type 2 like this one, take out the um, two, there's one there and one at the bottom, you can see there, takes off this cover um, and that allows you to open what's called the engine maintenance flap and pops off there and when you look inside you can see that brass coloured thing is the temperature sensor because I've actually already done this one it's quite a common fault on the 1991 through to 1996 pan European the temperature sensor gives up because it earths all the current from the fan uh, through to the radiator so which gets mucky inside and then you overheat in traffic so once you've got this off you want to reach inside and you're going for this connector here, just grab it and pull it off, it's only a spade connector, like so. At that point you're going to want a 22mm swan neck spanner, preferably, um, and just drop that inside, crack it on, undo it, and then it's finger tight, you can pull it out. Don't do it when the bike's hot, and make sure your ignition is switched off when you do it, because otherwise there's current going to that. Tighten up, snug it up, wrist tight, no tighter than that, because you'll thread the radiator out and that'll get expensive. Take your connector, carefully pop it back on. Now it's got a rubber sleeve on it, it's quite easy to um, to mess up and stuff the connector down the side of the rubber sleeve, if you can see there. You'll know it's on when it actually bites, and you'll feel that when there's a bit of resistance trying to pull it back off again. Okay, so mine's bitten, you want to push it snug home so that no liquid can get in. You are going to lose a little bit of coolant when you do this. Um, Get one out quickly, put your finger over it, get the other one in, you won't lose too much coolant. I'll show you how to top that up in a second. But when you're done, be careful your maintenance panel, it's got these um, little L-shaped hooks on it, so when you put it in, you've got to push it up against the bike tight, make sure they all line up, and then slide it forwards, and that way you won't break them off. Once you've done that, uh, pop those screws back in, pop your seat off with the keyhole at the side, and you're going to need to take one fairing screw out of here, get your hand behind the bottom and give it a yank. One there, and that will undo the uh, clip at the bottom. You're looking for this bad boy here. Top it up with a mixture of coolant as per the service manual. Uh, ethylene glycol mixed with water at a regular ratio. Make sure that aligns back down there. Push it on, clip the top home and pop the screw back in. Once you've done that, go up to your bike, switch it on and run it at idle till you see the temperature gauge come up and uh, leave it to run until the fan comes on if it doesn't you might have an air lock where you lost some coolant the uh, coolant reservoir cap is under there so you have to do a similar process on this side or get your really tiny hands in and top it up that way but with the amount we've lost we should um, be fine allowing it to draw through from the expansion tank there's maybe a cup of coolant um, heat cycle the bike once or twice to make sure the fan switch is on and then you're good to go. No more overheating and traffic. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the motorcyclist.